hi and welcome back to another video so today's video we're near Chawton Crescent or we're starting it off at Chawton Crescent I'm going to be having a look around a totally different area in Blackpool so uh, yeah come and join me Chawton Crescent is near um, a little park so it's right in the middle so it's like a little um, sort of as you can see, he sort of like spans through the park. Um, so these are sort of the back of the houses, what go along Chawton Crescent. So yeah, we're just gonna have a bit of a walk around this area. It's a totally different area um, to uh, what we normally film, but this is what this channel's all about, bringing you different areas and a bit of exploring. So uh, yeah, we'll keep going and uh, see what we can, uh, we can find today. See, we've had uh, quite a bit of rain. Uh, it looks like over the last couple of days in this area. Look at that. Like some vehicles or something has been uh, has been around here. Yeah, look at that. And also, we've got a nice little park as well. Uh, I remember when I was a little kid, um, played in this park. Uh, it is a nice little park for the uh, the kids and that. So we'll just uh, walk on a little bit further. And they've even got um, a few little benches and everything in this park. Actually, amazing. It's a lovely little, uh, lovely little place. Um, and it is a nice little area, this actually. And the houses are probably quite cheap along here as well. Uh, you can probably pick them up for like sort of 80 to 100,000. Or two, maybe three bed terraces. Um, but yeah, there's not a lot of parks in Blackpool. Um, what's right on your doorstep. And this is. Uh, Probably as best as it will get. I mean, I saw Stanley Park paying big money for them houses, and you know, the Rock Gardens just off Devonshire Road again, big houses. So, this is ideal um, if you've got a dog uh, and you can't get out, you can't travel, things like that. Um, so, yeah. See all the uh, daffodils are coming to bloom now. Look at that! You can see uh, spring is in the air. It is a very, very little, quiet little. I'm saying that's a couple of cars, but it's a quiet little area. Um, I love the uh, those little trees and things, you know. So I'm sure um, if people are familiar with Blackpool and lived here for years. Um, there used to be a Trevor's, I think it was named Trevor's, down this road near Chawton Crescent. I think mean, it was just uh, just off Chawton Crescent, but there used to be a uh, Trevor's down there. So this is as far as it goes, and then it sort of spirals back um, onto the main road. Just heading up um, uh, and on the opposite side to Chalk Crescent, and whoever remembers uh, this area from years and years ago, Burton's Biscuits, which is now located on Devonshire Road, used to be up this way. Um, so they moved oh, oh, a long, long time ago, but yeah, this is where Burton's Biscuits, at the bottom of the road, turn right, turn left, um, used to operate. So a bit of a bit of history for you. Right off to it, we've got um, Evans Houseshaw, which is the uh, the Ford dealer. Um, and we've got Iceland um, and Asda, Greg's, all the rest of it. just on Vicarage Lane at the moment and uh, where the roundabout is you can see uh, quite a selection of shops still so you've got a little hardware shop uh, little mini supermarkets charity shops beauty and tanning so you've got it all there um, there's actually quite a 
little, uh, oh, nice little area. Lovely and clean. So yeah, this is uh, just off Vicarage Lane. So it's actually a, a nice area there. So we're gonna have a bit of a look uh, around, a few more streets around this area. Um, and yeah, see what else uh, we can uh, discover. So yeah, let's get going. So we're just gonna have a bit of a walk down Acton Road, this is called. Uh, I just whipped around very quickly. So you can see that leads back onto the park. So it's a bit of a shortcut. Um, so we're just gonna have a, a bit of a walk down here. I want to see where that Trevor's supermarket used to be. See if I can see the shop. It is going back some years, so obviously it's gone now. I'm going to see if there is a shop there, um, if I can find it, and if it is a shop or if it's been converted um, to a house. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep walking down this road and uh, see if I can see it. Yeah, we're just going down this uh, road. It looks like it's been clamped. Um, but a sticky being peeled off. So it looks like you know, something's gone on with that one. So we just uh, branched off on Horside Lane and up on the on this one, right at this end, uh, we have the Len, Lan, sorry, Lane Ends Pub. And also a bit further up, we've got the PDSA. And as you can see, the Blackpool Tower um, right in the distance. So, uh, yeah. Oh, something's happening there. Police whipping by. So we're carrying a bit further and we're uh, a little bit more exploring. So I just thought I'd have a a bit of a walk through on St Paul's Church, Martin. Fantastic old building. Let's have a bit of a walk through here. And, uh, yeah. How many people have gathered here in the past? It's, uh, for sad occasions. Look at that one, the whole, uh, whole headstones are completely lifted. I'm going to have a bit of a look when I get back and just see when this was actually constructed. Um, fantastic architect on there as well. Really amazing. So I would imagine this, uh, this building has seen many a happier time and many a sad time. How about this one? New Blades Barbershop. And we've got a little funky cops car in the window. Look at that one. So, this is a, a nice little cheap garage. We had a bit of reconstruction done lately, a few months ago. But we, uh, if you do have a car, grab it in here. £1.41, £1.50 per litre in diesel. So we're just going to have a bit of a walk around this area and um, see the different shops that have uh, closed and reopened over the years, different businesses have taken over. So we've got a little munch box. Uh, and we've got all sorts actually. Backyard Bistro Bar, Number 10, Bar and Kitchen, a Total Wicked Vape Shop. Um, so we've actually got quite a few little, um, a few little shops along here. Sadly, I'll show you on the other side. There's a couple um, that's fallen on hard time, shall I say. There's Papa John's there. Uh, uh, flower shop. So you've got quite a few little shops up there. I'll show you down the road, the street there. There's Parkdale Avenue. And on the opposite side, swing the camera right round. 
Reed Nevington Plumbing, that's sadly gone now. And uh, another shop, not too short that used to be. Back to a supermarket or something. Might get a drive at the supermarket, that's sadly gone. So yeah, there is a few little shops up this way. And uh, thankfully a lot of them, smaller businesses, which I do like to support, um, is still in operation. This is just on the corner of Ferguson Road and uh, it looks like something is going on because it's been completely flattened. Um, so I'm not too sure what a building was here before. It's amazing when you do drive you don't take any sort of notice what's uh, what's around them. This isn't really my, uh, my neighbourhood but yeah looks like this is uh, completely gone so it looks like they are um, planning on something um, to build here. So that is uh, more or less the end of the video. It's only a quick video just to uh, explore a little bit of a, a different area. Um, and before I go, who remembers? I think it was Glenroyd Hospital in Whitegate Drive. Uh, there used to be a hospital, um, I think it was between Park School and the Walking Centre, along there anyway. Uh, but there used to be a hospital there because uh, my brother was actually born there. So that is going back a bit. Uh, so who remembers that? If you do, pop, uh, pop your name in the comment. And uh, just give it a shout out if you do remember it. So, hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, it's a bit of something different, different area. Um, and until next time, take care. Bye bye.